Hello, welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I had the wrong glasses on, so I had to quickly switch them over. Otherwise, it would be a new episode of Simon and the Sudoku, not Wallace and Gromit, with the wrong glasses. Probably uh, be just as dramatic. Anyway, what are we doing today? We're doing Parity Islands by Itrio. Now, Itrio is a constructor, I think, of just almost exquisite brilliance. Every single puzzle of theirs is a treat. And this one has been described as um, some, it's something like utterly simple to understand and yet, you know, so, so elegant to solve. It's called Parity Islands. And the basic idea is that each of the circles, um, well, firstly, orthogonally connected cells of the same parity are called parity islands. So if, imagine if those three squares were odd. Uh, actually, they were not going to be able to do that because we can only have four even, <laughs> four even cells in that box. So imagine all of those were odd and all of the, these were even. Then into this circle, you would write a five because this one is odd and it's part of a parity island of size five. And it's that simple. Um, and yeah, this has got a 99% approval rating on Logic Masters Germany. And just every comment is like, this is absolutely amazing. So <laughs> this is what we're going to have a go at. And I've sort of done the rules, which is a strange order for the video to appear in, but the, or, or a strange order for the video to go in but that that is they are the rules um and i don't have any news for you today i'm 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 sit here sitting here awaiting a storm that is due to blow through um i'm always a bit worried about storms here because i uh, my house is surrounded by very high trees um so I, I get a bit anxious about it. So the best way to distract myself is, I think, going to be to solve a Sudoku. So um, the only other things to mention, if you do like the channel, please subscribe. Please follow us on Patreon, where we put loads of extra content. Please think about our Sudoku apps, loads of handcrafted puzzles therein. But anyway, now we're going to have a go at Parity Islands by Itrio. I've sort of read the rules already, so I'm not going to reiterate those. Do have a go at the puzzle though. The way to play, as always, in all Cracking the Cryptic videos is to click the link in the video description under the video. That will take you to a page that looks identical to this one where you can play the puzzle on whichever device takes your fancy. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. I suppose the only thing I didn't say is normal Sudoku rules apply, but I think we could have all gathered that. Um, now, so let's start off with the basic principles. The numbers one to nine include five odd numbers and four even numbers. So, no, I was wondering if that meant that these digits had to sum up to, to nine, which would actually be impossible, wouldn't it? Because they all have to be different numbers. Yeah, okay, but things can spill out of the box. That's why that's not true. Right, but that square yeah, this is a one. <laughs> Let's get to the point. That is a one. And that's because were it to be anything else, Let's make it a two just for the sake of exposition. That would be saying that there are two cells in this cell's parity island. Um, but whichever way we go to generate that two cell sequence, I'm then going to have to put a two in another another circle. And that's going to put two twos in the box. And obviously, whatever number I put in in this square. Imagine this is a five, whichever direction it grows in, it's going to then have to have a five in the cell beneath it. So we must put one in the corner. No song for that. We'll make it o we'll make it orange because orange and odd begin with the same number. Those two cells must now be even and that cell must be odd. Because again if we connect these up in an orthogonal set, um, then we've got another problem, haven't we? Because th these could both well they were both have to be well it doesn't matter what the, the point is they're part of the same parity island so they have to contain the same digit and that's not going to work so now the lowest even number here is a knowledge bomb for you is two so both of these have to grow and that's beautiful because now that's four even digits in box one so all of those have to be odd so this now is a five seven or a nine because it's odd and it's part of a parity island that's at least of size four, so it can't be a three. And, and now this square 
<laughs> that square has to be odd because if that's even that's creating a parity island with two circles in it yes okay so what we can say here let's let's make a little theory for us for ourselves if you have two circles in the same parity island then those circles must not be in the same sudoku unit so they couldn't be in the same column row or box of the sudoku so for example imagine that this square was orange and linked to this one i think that's fine isn't it because these could contain the same digit without breaking sudoku and they could both be the size of this orange area but what what's not fine is to have two in the same in the same parity island that see each other so these are in the same row so that must be orange otherwise these two digits would be the same number so that's got to be even by that logic and and that can't be a one so it must grow it's at least oh it's now i was going to say it's at least a three but it's just become much bigger than that it's now at least a six so that's a seven or a nine which means this is a seven or a nine because these numbers are now the same we've finally, we've we've discovered so i'm going to put a in both of them and say a has to be over here by sudoku oh i like this this is very very nice now that square must be even otherwise it falls foul of our theory um these are both at least two aren't they can't have that many more even digits in row one one two three four five six so hmm i haven't got this yet let me think about it it feels no, the thing is, I don't know whether this is 7 or 9. Okay, I suppose that is a 2. Maybe I should make use of that. So that's not 2, so this has to grow. Right, and if that has to grow, it can't bump into this because these two circles are in the same Sudoku unit. So it must grow there. This must be odd by that logic. Uh, this is not a 1, so that's at least a 3. Let's go back to... Let's go back to numbers rather than letters. Right. Oh, no, no. Where the cursor was, I, I looked like that was penned in, but actually it's not penned in at all, is it? Now that, well, that could be even, I think. Oh, but it can't be odd because then these two numbers would be the same. So not only could it be even, it must be even. And now that can't be a four because this region is of size five already now here's a little point okay um this is not yet grown to its full it's, it's only grown a little bit it's sort of a teenager it's not fully formed yet is it because it's only of size five and it must be at least of size six now that means that this little thing has to grow in an orthogonal direction which is going to be to one of those three squares at least but that's whichever one of these it grows into is going to be the final even digit in box four. So these two must both be odd. Actually, we could have seen this was going to be odd anyway. Maverick's flying over. I was trying, probably trying to beat the storm home. Um, right, that's got to be right. That's got to be the same digit. So these are the same digit. We give those the moniker of B, and that means a B lives down here. now what does that mean i don't know that's at least a four i'm going to write that in four six or eight that's at least a two and um only one of these can be even So if that's even, that if this is even, this is a six, because this can't grow to here, because there would already then have been four evens in this column. So if, if this is blue, this is six. If this is blue, it's still six again, because if this is blue, you can't take this square. 
and you can't take either of those with blue because you'll you'll have five blues in this box and if this is blue obviously we can't make this blue as well because these will be both in the same blue area and they'll have the same number in them but what about if this is blue if this is blue wow this is really clever I think I think there might be something simpler than this but this is really beautiful so I'm going to explain it now if this is blue again we've now completed our blue complement for this box haven't we so the only way that this could grow to be of a higher than size 6 value is to take this square but this this square is not possible for the, for, the, for the most beautiful reason if you if you can't see that reason by the way just have a th have a pause of the video because it's really cool once you see it but but this could not be true we could not grow to this square and the reason well done for those who managed to do it congratulations agadmator style <laughs> um the reason is all three of those cells then would be would contain an eight wouldn't they but which there are four even digits in row four, and one of them needs to be an eight. Well, which one of these are we going to make an eight? None of those, and not this one, so you can't do it. So, the odd thing about this is that I know that this is a six. I don't yet know which of these cells it takes, which is really strange, but I do know it's a six, which means, and that's B, isn't it? So B has become a six. And we know that it's taking one of these as its final as its final piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I was wondering whether it's possible for this to be blue, because both of these would be orange and then this this would be a nine size region, but I don't see a problem with it being a nine size region or not an obvious problem. I mean, it would create a great panoply of even digits in column four, but why not? We could have four even digits in column four. Indeed, by the end of the puzzle, we will have. Whether they're those four or not is a different question. Um, right. Hmm. I'm a bit baffled by this. I th I wonder whether... I wonder whether I'm actually meant to be have been working up here. Let's see if we can deduce something. Again, I've got three. Yeah, okay, so we can do something, I think, with this square. We know this is part of a region at least four cells large. So I'm going to ask the question, how can it not take this square? So let's make that square odd and see if that works. So how do we grow this to size 4 at least now? It could take this square, that's fine. But that's the fourth even digit in row 1, so it could only take this square. And it could take this square, but it can't take this square. Because, well, actually it can't take this square for another reason, which is there are already four evens in box 2. But even if it did take this square these two would then contain the same digit. So this is definitely even. Now, as one of these must be even because this has to grow, that's all the evens in this box. So these two are both definitely odd. And this must be at least equal to two, so it has to grow. Ah, right, That then now can we apply that logic in reverse that we did? No, well now this can't be even because otherwise this is of size six size, a size eight size, sorry, so that's odd. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that's got to be even, otherwise it's a ten cell, re ten size region. Now that's odd to complete the count of this box. This is beautiful. This has got to grow because this is at least a four. A is a seven or a nine. Oh, I see. So that's not A because A is definitely an odd number. We've had all our evens in row two, so those are both odd now. 
and if this was even these two cells would be the same so that's odd and it can't be a one so it's at least a three so it grows to there which makes it at least a five now so that is a five seven or nine not an h a five seven or a nine um gosh this is this is just stunning it's absolutely stunning right now what does that mean though this is odd otherwise these two circles are in the same region now if we could stop this being a two it would have to grow and that would feel that would feel like progress again now this what was this this was either seven right if we take that as orange now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that can't be orange so that is blue which means we've got all our blues in box four so this is orange this is a seven it's been proved there is a seven over here this can't be a seven let's get rid of the a pencil mark here whoopsie um because we've now we've now managed to lose all letterage which is probably a good thing um and let's take stock now this must be blue because otherwise these are both two oranges in the same region which will have the same number now can this join to this one yes i think because they can be the same number and they won't break sudoku right this is a size 4 region so that can't be a 3 into this square ah that this square can't be orange or these two would be in the same region this has been so carefully constructed it really has now that's really interesting as well because if this grows and takes this square the whole of the rest of this box is orange which would complete all of the oranges in row six and this would be blue no that wouldn't be true actually that could be orange because there would be no we wouldn't have had a circle in that orange region yet oh well that's penned in that's a one sorry i didn't see that it doesn't look like it's doing anything but it is true well maybe no it is doing something where's one in box two the answer is in one of those squares and therefore where's one in box three and the answer is in the same cells that we've we've put a seven pencil mark in so this is one a one seven pair uh, mm, ah no that, what i was about to say is not true sorry um oh i've got i've got the complete count on row one so that's definitely even so if that's odd now both of these are even and this is a five both of these are even that's odd ah, i'm not sure i'm stuck um let's see um i don't know where to look i'm stuck I'm stuck 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 bobbins um no <laughs> i was about to say something that's total rubbish um gosh there's a lot of sirens going on which is not very uh not a very good sign um so this is two, four, six, or eight. I don't, oh no, it's not, is it? It's two or four. Because if it's four, it takes this square, but then it can't grow because this region here is going to be completely hemmed in by orange cells. So this is two or four. Now, so if it's two, then this is two. I'm not sure that matters actually. Um, let's think. If this is five, both of these have to be even. 
Is that a problem for some reason? Uh, might be. I don't know why. That would be odd. And it would be, if this is 5, this would be a, a 3 or a 9. Couldn't be a 3, actually. It would have to be a 9. The reason it couldn't be a 3 is there would be 3 even digits penning it in here. And now we've got 6 even digits in row 4. I uh, don't know. Not not quite seeing. Oh, I no. Actually, it's much more straightforward. This being limited to two or four allows me to use this six. Ah, so there's a six by Sudoku in this square, which is rotten. That's hard to see, wasn't it? At least for me. So this is now a six because it's in a region of size six. We don't know where it goes yet, but we know that's true. Um. The yin yanger in me where it makes me want to get this out to the perimeter and make this orange, but and then not have a two by two. But that's total nut and nonsense. Um, there's an eight in one of those squares. Does that matter? This is a two or a four. Probably not. Um, two, three. Oh well, this is no. This is good now. So this is nine because if this was five, we'd have to pen it in with two even digits, and we'd have five evens in this box. So. This, and that's nine, and one of these is even, and one of these is odd. Now, what does that mean? That might mean something. It means there's going to be a channel coming down of odd digits in one, either there or there, which might matter. That couldn't join up with this this region because then these two squares would both be nines um so if this grew to here that feels like it's uh, this this one being even feels to me like it's putting a lot of pressure on the world. It's putting an awful lot of odd digits in row four, like everything else is then odd. I'm just trying to see whether that's that's permissible or not. We then have five, six, seven, eight in the, in the nine region. That would have to be odd. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I might be okay. I'm not sure. Um, this this one's interesting as well, isn't it? Because it clearly it, it's at <laughs> it's at least a two. He says fatuously, which we know if it goes this way it's definitely a four. If it goes this way, this is the last even digit in this box again. So all of those turn odd. And if it goes this way, again, all of these turn odd. So hang on, are th are they, those two are always odd, aren't they? That's that's the corolla, that's what we're getting. Yeah, the, the second cell that must belong to this central cell is in one of those three positions. That's going to complete the even count for this box. So both of those are definitely odd. And don't tell me that does nothing. I suspect that might actually do nothing. Oh, near well, mm, no. I th ooh, I'm not sure, actually. We've now got four odds in row six so we can't have a great panoply of oddliness at the end of row six we've got to be a bit careful we've also got quite a lot of odds now in column six as well but this would be t so if these were both four these would be odd so everything there would be odd and that would have to be, I don't know what that would be actually. <laughs> I think it could still be even or odd. Um, I don't know. 
don't know. Six. Ah, six is in one of those two squares in box five. It's clever the way that sometimes Sudoku is the next step in this Sudoku puzzle. I mean, it's outrageous I'm being asked to make to do Sudoku, but it's still quite clever that the way that's the way it works. This is a four eight in the corner. And hmm, okay. What do we think it's going to be next? Is this obvious six in this box? Is that somehow interesting? I don't think so. Hmm. Sorry, if you can see it as well, well done. I'm just not quite spotting it at the moment. This is five, seven or nine. Do I know which? Don't think so. I think it, I think it's going to be to do with this up here, but I can't quite, I can't quite get it clear in my head how it's going to work. Um, if that is blue, right, that's how it works. If that's blue, that doesn't work for a rather beautiful reason. If this is blue, this is finished which means it must be surrounded on all orthogonal sides by orange and that's going to put oranges in there but this nine hasn't reached its core it's not core eight yet is it? it's only got six in it so you have to take that one and that converts the nine into something that's much bigger than nine i don't know how big it is six ten twelve i think but twelve is bigger than nine a knowledge bomb for you so that's not right okay so that's the next step we've got to make this orange and now this isn't big enough so it has to grow and then it's it's grown enough so those both become orange this has to be uh blue because we need a fourth even digit in this box how big is the nine now the nine's still only seven. Oh, but it can't take this square because then it would be size nine, but we'd have two nines in the column, which is lovely. So that's got to be even. This has got to grow. Now let's see, is that the right size now? Yes, so that's even. Um, this is at least a three, so this has to grow still. Can we, have we got any more? Well, we've got, uh, we've got four evens in this row, so that's odd. So now this is, at least seven so this is oh and it can't be nine so it is seven and how big is it it is not seven it needs one more um and that one more is coming from one of those two squares isn't it because one of these must be odd in box five which means this and this are both therefore even to pen in this seven that's the fourth even in this box so that's got to be odd ah this is just it's a magnificent puzzle this it's 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 one of those puzzles that as you're solving it you just you think goodness me that's that's odd just by the count in this row and therefore that's got to be even so this is not a two it's at least a four so this is a two which means that that's a two apparently out of absolutely nowhere so there's a four eight pair now in this column which means this is two or six S six where do we put it in it's actually got to be there so there's a two down here which means that's a two by sudoku and now this is a four or an eight we've got a four eight pair in this column so there's got to be a two down at the bottom of column uh three there's a in fact where does the two go now in box four i can see we can place it we can place the two in box five and again we get okay so we don't know we don't know very much about twos apart from which the which columns they're at the bottom of um therefore what is the next step right here is the next step look at this column i've got all the odds in it so those are all even look at this column i've got all the evens in it so these are all odd i get a stripe this column is less good what about no this column column seven has got four evens in it so those are all odd oh i thought i'd broken it then because i was going to say but that's a series of three evens but that's okay because none of them are circled um 
Ooh, okay, no, hang on. I've got five. These are all even. I've got more stripey. So I've got very strange stripey logic. That must be a three because that's a region of size three now. This has got to grow. Um, so how many more? Oh, I see. This is a four. Because, in fact, that means this has to be odd because it can't. we can't join this. There's, there's one more even digit to place in box nine. And wherever it is, it will touch this, this group of three and increase its count to four. But if we then add that on, that's five, which we can't put in an even square. And there's no way of getting this count to be equal to six because we've only got one more even to add in one of these squares. So this is four and that is odd. And one of these is even, and it is a two, one of down here somewhere. Uh, that's, that's probably resolvable somehow, but I can't immediately see how. Uh, again, sorry if you're, sorry if you're ahead of me on that. I just can't quite see it. Um, Right, so what do we do with the drunken sailor? No, what do we do as the next step here? We've got to... Oh, six. Six is placed, apparently, in, in box five by Sudoku, which means this square is a four or an eight. And this is a four or an eight. Oh, hang on. Well, this has got to grow, so it's got to go there. Even even if it's only four, it's got to grow to here. So if it was only four, those two would both be odd. Ah, hang on, I've got four evens in this box now. So those are, these are these are both odd, and this is at least a five. So it's five, seven, or nine, depending on what these two are, and whether both of them can be even, which they might well be able to be. If that's odd. If that's odd, then these two are the same, and one of them, and that goes up there somewhere. And if this is even, then these are both eights. And that would put a lot of eights in the grid. A lot of eight. No, that doesn't work. That's really clever, actually. That's really, really clever. Yeah, so l let me explain that. So if this is even, you can see that the count of this even region now is eight. It can't be four anymore. And that means this is an eight. It means this is an eight. And it means this is an eight. Well, where do I put an eight now in box eight? The only place available is here, but that's in the same row as this eight. So this is odd. And it's not two or six, so there's a two six pair at the bottom of the column. So that's a two six pair. These are both even, and that's perfect because that means that this region has got delineated. So that's five, that's five, that's one. And this is the same number as that, which is now, oh, it's not five. So this is seven or nine, and that's seven or nine. And it's not seven by Sudoku. So this is nine. This is nine. There's a nine up here. Good grief. And there is a one in one of these two squares by Sudoku. Because of this, which means that can't be a one. So that's a one. Three, five, nine at the top. So five. Yes. Where's five in this box? And the answer is I don't really know, but it's in one of those squares. Therefore, five in the top box has to be there. And now nine gets placed and three gets placed. And now five gets placed in the top row, which means this is a three by our old friend, our fair weather friend, Sudoku. That's nine. That's five. That's three. And this is a one five pair in this box. So this must be a three seven pair to complete the odd digits in this box. And now can we do more? One, one, five, nine. This is five or nine. One, five, nine. This is one or nine. Bother. <laughs> Didn't work. Um, where's three in this box? It's got to be here. 
So these are so this is a naked single. It's a five. It sees seven and nine. It sees one and three, and that makes this a nine and this a one and this a one and this a five, and this is seven. Um, and now we need five and nine, which we can do into these squares, which means we need three here, one here, seven here. We're going to finish these old digits, I think. That's I shouldn't have said that. That's famous last words, isn't it? Uh, I need three and uh, no, I can still go down here. Three and nine go in. This is a one seven pair. I don't know if that's resolved. And that digit is seven or no, it's not. It's not nine. So that is seven. That's seven. That's one. One of these has got to be a nine. And it's got to be the bottom one. So that's nine. That's two. That's therefore odd. That's therefore even. So this isn't two. This is ah, this is two. This is six. So that is two now don't know what that means probably something very profound that's a four or an eight <laughs> so we've still got to do the shading down here where well, we're going to have to avail of these nines aren't we the six is useful so that's a six that's a six that's an eight this is four or eight into this square and that's four right there's a four eight pair in in box two as well what about that a four eight again don't tell me four four eight pairs here hang on hang on hang on are we getting into deadly troubles i think i think we're going to have to work out we're going to have to work out how to do this aren't we there's a three in one of those squares one of these is odd one of these is even oh no, and no, that's that's right. Look, I've got a four here. That's what's doing it. I was wondering how I was going to re resolve all this, but it is it is resolved. Eight, eight, four, four. We can see that's a four actually using the the power of thingy thingy, the size of the region. So that's an eight. That's a four, and that's a four, and that's an eight. Right. So <laughs> all we've got to do these two are both odd because we've got all the evens in this row. This down here, though, one of these is a four, which is that one. Ah, I want to make this a four. And therefore, this has got to be odd. That's even, because we can't have more evens in this row. So this is, a, oh, that's a size two, but it's not circled. So that could have been circled, but wasn't. And this, oh, this has to be a size nine. Oh, well, that's odd. So one of these... Hang on, what's going to... Is it Sudoku that's going to have to determine this then? That's really clever, if so. Hang on. It is, isn't it? I think. So what I'm seeing here is I've got a, a sort of Z pentomino and this triomino and an ambiguity about which of these is odd. And whichever of these is odd, I think I'm right. So I might be wrong, but I think I'm right in saying whichever of these was odd, it will just automatically create a region of size nine because the other is going to be even. And, it, the, and, and whichever is the, of these is odd is connecting this to this. So I think the only way this resolves is somehow going to be Sudoku. So this is seven. I can see that in the bottom row. And that makes that seven and that three and that, that there. Yeah, okay, so it is Sudoku. That's forced to be three. So this is forced to be an eight and even. And this is a one five pair. And that's a five and that's a one. And that is just a beautiful puzzle, isn't it? An absolute banger. Let's see if it's right. Yes, it is. Absolutely brilliant. I loved that. <laughs> How clever was that puzzle? The answer is quite considerably clever. Parity Islands by Itrio. Itrio, take a bow. Itrio's just, uh, he does wonderful uh, loop puzzles as well. I've done two or three of those where you know, parity loop type things. Um, and this is just another magnificent example of a simple rule set, yet executed with just massive aplomb. Loved it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition. Cracking the cryptic.